session na salutations to the lotus feet of our divine masters shri boga siddhar ji shri maha avtar baba ji and pooja guru mata atmanand mai mata ji on behalf of the vya baba ji sushumna kriya yoga foundation we welcome all of you to the session with mahesh ji today everyone's journey is unique when it comes to sushumna kriya yoga you are experiencing a very traumatic life event while you were introduced to sushumna kriya yoga um we uh, we were uh, undergoing a very uh, traumatic um, event where i had lost my brother in an uh, a road accident because of which my parents were um, their health was getting upset and we were feeling very helpless because of looking at the situation and handling our own pain at this juncture one of my friend who happens to be shishumna kriya yogi uh, visited us and at that point of time we were not aware that he is a shishumna kriya yogi and uh, he started talking about uh, shishumna kriya as a possible solution for our pain and in this very room we started uh, a 7 minutes yoga session at that point of time uh, it, there was uh, there was we did not feel anything but however after several months we had the divine opportunity to me meet pooja shri atmananda mai amagaru and uh, uh, since then um, my mother um, during that phase amagaru uh, took a promise from my mother that she will not cry any more about her lost son and till today she has kept that promise and uh, we continue to meditate and we are seeing a dramatic change however for for myself uh, uh, it is said that when the student is ready the teacher appears okay so that has been very true in my case since i met amaga atmane amagaru have been my determination to practice has been uh, and i reinforced uh, multiple times absolutely mahesh ji when you practice sushumna kriya yoga gurus are with you throughout and they guide you especially during extreme moments like this and you will really be able to overcome a lot of difficulties and traumatic situations in life so mahesh ji you have been practicing 49 minutes of sushumna kriya yoga meditation every day while most people think it is difficult to sit even for a brief period of time can you tell us how you gradually went from 14 minutes to 21 minutes and then ultimately to 49 minutes of meditation and how it has brought fulfillment into your life yeah. initially i started with 40 minutes of meditation and uh, very rapidly i went to 21 minutes but i was stuck at 25 minutes for a very long time but taking inspiration from fellow creators especially my mother and uh, wife who are who seems to be able to sit in meditative state for several hours i kept the um, practice on and we have a determined practice on and eventually reach 49 minutes okay and um, even now i get a uh, small periods brief periods of bliss and my it is an uh, continued effort to reach an entire 49 minutes of a blissful state all this i have been able to integrate sushumna kriya into my daily, daily routine and um, Uh, and still manage to complete my duties as a professional as a caring son and a dutiful uh, parent and and also as an husband now this is the very concept of uh, our param gurus uh, shri shri bognath sidhar shri 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 mahata baba ji and um, atmanand mai magaru to say that to bring the ancient technique to a simplified and a modernized lifestyle so that it is useful to all the common folks like householders professional students as well as aged So Mahesh ji what are some of the benefits you derived by practicing sushumna kriya yoga one of the biggest benefit is uh, to remain in a state which is not an egoistic not at a depression as atman and damai amagaru says success breeds uh, ego the failure breeds uh, depression the as a sushumna kriya yogi the objective is to remain on the center path and uh, be able to handle all situations of life in a calm and a composed manner and this is what i have the major benefit i have derived mahesh ji were you also able to use these benefits in your personal as well as your professional life absolutely ma as a kriya yogi oh, we remain in a egoless state and keep away from depression and in this state one will be able to take better decisions uh, will have, be able to be a uh, a professional person a a warm person and these are very important traits for both on management side on professional side as well as the personal side let me give you an example how it has benefited me and 
when in my earlier career uh, i had to travel a lot and the it was extremely hectic though i had a desire to balance between family life personal life and professional life and also had some orientation towards spirituality i had no time to practice or balance these things at that point of my, my daily submission to our parama gurus that is atmanand mai amagaru um, shri bognath sidh and mahabharatar baba ji was to enable me to uh, balance between so that i can make progress on all aspects of life so and at that point of time what seems like an uh, professional upset turned out in the, in the insight i can see that they they answered my prayers and today i'm i'm independent consultant so i'm able to balance my professional life and uh, personal life and also make some ascents in uh, spiritual life so uh, our gurus have heard me and given me a path to practice what would be good for this life and subsequent lives as well okay. i mean i would like to give another example as an independent consultant and as a virtual ceo i have i handle multiple projects each project will have its own pressures i have different customers with uh, different operational issues they'll have their own expectations billing delays and this thing and it is quite natural for an independent consultant to be extremely agitated about this but uh, because of krishushumna kriya yoga i am able to manage all these things uh, in a very calm and composed manner and uh, remain confident remain uh, remain organized and prioritize my uh, activities and deliver on time without any very hassles with my customer uh, this is a big uh, dry, it's a big drastic change from my earlier self where i used to get even though i was doing a single project i used to get very agitated and my mood used to oscillate from being extremely elated to being depressed and which obviously would be affecting my health my professional life as well as my personal life uh, so you keep talking about um, how one should avoid ego and depression so can you talk about the tip that ammagaru gave with regards to this yeah so one of the best tip i have derived from uh, amagaru's message is how to remain yeah we have to remain on a egoless state but the question is how um, it the, the simple trick what i do is i, have, I attribute everything to paramagurus to amagaru and uh, uh, lord shiva so w- for every action uh, every important action i s- i keep re- mentally re- reciting saying that om na- om namah shivaya and om guru bhyo namaha so that way all successes and failures are attributed to them so i am uh, i'm i'm a passenger i'm not the driver true sir and most recently amagaru has given us another message for the guru purnami which is mangalam nitya subha mangalam and any situation can be turned around with that maha mantra so moving on sir every year we have the guru purnima event which is conducted annually and this is the most awaited and the most special event for all our sushumna kriya yogis most times it is held in holy places like tirupati shirdi kashi but this year this year and last year given the pandemic it was conducted on a very small scale and maheshi you are one of the chosen ones one of the most lucky ones and never before has this happened that sushumna kriya yoga puja and homa was conducted at your very own place so can you take us through that experience and that moment of bliss that you experienced yeah absolutely and you rightly said uh, this is uh, a very unique opportunity for among it is among billions of people on the earth and among the thousands and lakhs of uh, krishya yogis uh, it is extremely fortunate for us that our family was able to welcome parama gurus and atmanand mai amagar uh, it so happened that unknown to each of us all of us were um, had a secret desire and we were it was our conscious submission to uh, our gurus that we should have the guru puja ashrama we should be able to sponsor but and hot effort we knew that it was a very tall order because we knew there are lots of people have the same desire and we had very slim chances that it is our term would come anywhere in this life or so certainly not for several years but however um, during pandemic uh, it was an extreme elation jubilation when we came to know that uh, it was communicated to us that the guru puja ushava and homa will be held in our dwelling in bangalore once the initial excitement settled down it dawned on me that mere logistical arrangements will not suffice because we will have uh, our kriya yogis uh, our gurus and um, lost of astral beings uh, in attendance for the, for this unique event so i had then i started invoking the divine uh, 
blessings and i in chat i started on a 49 days uh, chanting to uh, invoke divine help and uh, july 5th 2020 uh, at the peak of uh, pandemic happens to be the pinnacle day for our family because this was the day when we along with a few selected uh, kriya yogis were able to do puja to amagaru and uh, and under amagaru's guidance we did an homa and uh, this is something which uh, we, I, for all of us, firmly believe that it is not an unique opportunity for this life, but for many lives. Very true, sir. This is something that I don't think is conducted just on the physical level. It's also a lot of astral work and lots of chanting is conducted. And this is especially for global peace. Given the pandemic, there is a lot of negative vibrations in the world. And uh, as per and as per Paramaguru's instructions, the global peace chanting is conducted by chanting Omkaras, and which creates ripples around the world. And uh, this is the most important event for most Sushumna Kriya Yogis. Thank you for sharing your Guru Purnima experience with us. And most people have this thought of why me? When something negative happens in somebody's life, the immediate thought that comes to them is why me? Why do I have to undergo this suffering? Um, and one of your situations was also extreme and uh, you were hospitalized. How did you uh, manage to remain positive during that time? Yeah. Yes, I had a very serious health condition because of which I had to be hospitalized. Post hospitalization had to undergo a very intense physiotherapy. And these situations, the culmination of uh, all the uh, physical pain, medical problems, financial issues, would make anybody start thinking, why me? Okay. But at this, whenever such a thought came to me, Pujya Atmananda Mahi Atmagaru's message, words used to come to my mind saying that, remember that Gurus take away six times of your uh, karmas and only we suffer only one. So whenever such a negative thought uttered, I would say, please, see, I used to tell myself saying that, Mahesh, this can be six times more. Yeah, it can be more worse. So, I'm, because of which I remained steady fast and I recovered in a, uh, in a relatively shorter time. The testimonial for this is my physiotherapist who said in his 20 plus years experience, he has not seen anybody recover so fast. That is so commendable, sir. And today, uh, an other important aspect is during that phase, I was not able to do any meditation. I mean, it had dropped down to one minute or one and a half minute. And I used to automatically open, but along with uh, my positive mind, as and when my health was progressing, I kept trying, uh, kept the efforts on, and uh, very soon I was back to my 49 minutes meditation. Mahishji, um, one of these days you had a very interesting experience where you had a chance meeting with a friend who was in USA. And can you tell us about how the, you know, the divine plan of Gurus unfolded and how you realized that ultimately you were just an instrument of Gurus? It so happened that uh, years back when I was working in a city in USA uh, on a long-term assignment, uh, one day there was a sudden um, inexplicable desire to talk to a particular friend with whom I had not spoken for several years. In fact, I did not even have his contact details. But um, the inkling, the intuition got stronger and finally I had to heed to it. Finally, uh, only thing I knew about him is his name and uh, I knew that he was in United States. I immediately I went to Google, uh, I went to social media, fished out his uh, contact details and placed a call. And a big surprise was, uh, he was just four buildings away from, uh, from where I was working on that day. He usually does not come to that building very often, but it so happened that the divine plan was that he should be there. On that very day, we made plans for dinner. And, and it is my uh, habit to, to find every opportunity to talk about Sushumna Kriya Yoga to as many people as I can. And the moment I mentioned about meditation, my friend wa was taken aback and he t started relating his personal side. He told me that his uh, son had a particular medical situation and that the doctors there in United States had tried multiple medical re remedies, but finally they decided probably meditation would help. I jumped at this opportunity. I went to his home that same weekend and with the entire family, we did meditation. I taught them how to do. And the last I heard from him is that the kid is, the grown up child has started showing improvements. Amazing are the ways of gurus. And this entire thing, I would, I can say that 
I was used as an instrument to, to convey a solution to my friend who desperately needed it. Absolutely, sir. This is an apt example of being at the right place at the right time and the divine plan unfolding by the gurus and um, everything is divine play. And also talking about divine play, there was an, another incident in your life where divine intervention happened during the pandemic and uh, you had an experience with the education of your daughter. Would you like to talk about that? Absolutely. So gurus guide us on every path, irrespective of whether it is profession or life, person or spiritual path. I would like to give an example about how, what happened during uh, my daughter's uh, education. So like any father, any parent, um, each of us had our own uh, ideas about what uh, my daughter's education should be. And it turns out that none of them happened, though at that point of time we were disappointed. In the hindsight, we realized that that was the divine plan which Paramagurus had for us. Uh, to explain, uh, uh, we had almost decided that, that we want to admit my daughter in a different city. Post that, the pandemic followed and with the hindsight, if we look at that, if uh, had we had we gone to another city, it would have been a tremendous problem for uh, my daughter and it would have been an eternal factor of worry for us. And also it turns out that um, we, she is better suited for the role which she is doing. So, so uh, though um, it, at that point of time, it might look like it's, we are not getting what we want, but we have complete certain gurus are planning what is best for us. Absolutely, sir. Gurus often don't give you what you want, but rather they give you what you need. And this is a very apt example of what happened in your life. Given that you have a very hectic schedule and uh, your work keeps you extremely busy, how do you manage to give in the 49 minutes of the minimum required time for Sushumna Kriya Yoga? As uh, Atmananda Mai Amagaru says, it is important to integrate Sushumna Kriya into your daily routine without compromising on your other duties such as professional. And so in, in, in line with that, I start my day with uh, Brahma Murta meditation. Uh, even if I have stayed late, I make every effort to join. And I have noticed that after this meditation, uh, the quality of sleep is excellent and it makes up for lack of sleep the previous night. And I can go a full day after this. And on a good day, I even try to join the evening meditation. On a bad day when it is very hectic, at any time, sometime I make it mandatory to attend at least um, 49 minutes of meditation by myself. In this, all things, it has tremendously helped me in my profession, in my personal life, as well as in my spiritual growth. You are extremely blessed in a way because your family is a family of Sushumna Kriya Yoga practitioners. Can you talk about what impact has this played on your family members and what did you observe throughout their journey? Yeah, absolutely right. I consider it my biggest blessings to be born into a family of Sushumna Kriya Yogis. And some of the benefits which I have seen is the biggest one is that my parents were able to take into straight right, the loss of their son and my mother uh, stopped taking her sedatives and is able to uh, sleep naturally while my father uh, has come out of his withdrawal symptoms and is socializing a lot better. My wife who was suffering from BP and thyroid has been completely cured. She has grand, gained tremendous confidence. She is able to go to different parts of the city to, uh, to do meditation uh, classes for umpteen number of people. And in, uh, in the current mode because of pandemic, she is able to, she has been handling uh, online classes for multiple uh, elders as well as Bala section. And my daughter, uh, coming to my daughter, in this internet age, uh, um, it, the chances of any kid, children going, taking an unacceptable lifestyle is very high. And it would be impossible for either for parents nor for teachers to monitor them on a continuous basis. And it is also not advisable. Inherently, what it means, the child should have, inherently should have something built into them which will prevent them from uh, taking the wrong path and uh, use discretion on a continuous basis. My daughter has been not only been very fortunate to get initiation at a very young age, but also she has the golden opportunity to work as volunteer and, and also as a teacher for Bala Sekshana and Prathamya Sekshana. So this has in, uh, inculcated uh, enormous amount of responsibility in her and uh, I am very confident that she will always choose the right path. 
Lastly, how would you like to summarize the benefits of the practice of Sushumna Kriya Yoga? Mm, it, is, uh, it, is an, uh, it is a very difficult task for a mere mortal like me to summarize the benefits of Sushumna Kriya Yoga. However, I will make an humble effort. Benefits can be summarized at multiple levels. At a physical layer, the regular practice of Sushumna Kriya Yoga will uh, cleanse your chakras and nadis and improves your health and uh, mental health and physical health. At a logical level, you will be able to shred uh, the logical, you become a calmer person, be compassionate and most important, you will have a calm and a composed mind, so which would, should help you in your work and studies. Now, on a spiritual path, the very essence of uh, Shushumna Kriya is to reach the ultimate goal. And undoubtedly, the depletion of karmas and accumulation of the good karmas will take the soul to its final destination. And to summarize, uh, uh, all aspects of everything, if I take my own family, it helps elders like my parents, it helps a professional like me, it helps a housewife, it helps students. Om Shushumna. Om Shushumna.